Hi there! In this video, we will review the magnet domains and how they relate to our own professional practice model, or the PPM. As the two models merge, you see the six domains of the PPM align with the domains of the magnet model. Key concepts for each domain will be reviewed along with questions that a surveyor may ask you. Accompanying exemplars for each magnet domain can be found in the Comprehensive Magnet Redesign eBook. Transformational leaders inspire through strong vision, advocacy, and influence. Nursing leaders in all roles display a strong vision, leading the organization to ensure nurses' voices are heard, their input is valued, and the practice is supported. Transformational leadership key concepts include strategic planning, advocacy and influence, mentorship and succession planning, visibility, accessibility, and communication. Do you know what our organization's mission is? I hope so. If you don't, the answer is to care, educate, to discover. What is our organization's vision for nursing and for the organization at large? Well, the answer is healing humanity through science and compassion, one patient at a time. What are some methods of communication with your manager or other nursing leaders? Along with your standard emails and huddles, there's also standout, CNO town halls, looking forward, caring compass, and so many others. Does Stanford Healthcare have a mentoring program? Yes, we do, and you can find that at stanfordmentoring.com. Personal questions are a time to reflect and consider your answer. How would you describe your CNO as a leader? Tell me ways which you feel supported by your nurse manager and other nurse leaders. Tell me about a decision you were a part of that affected patient care or the work environment. Can you think of a time you asked for support on a practice change on your unit? Structural empowerment. Strong structures and processes are in place to influence professional development, partnerships, community support, and recognition. Nurses share in decision-making, establishing standards of care, and focusing on improving care. Structural empowerment, key concepts. Commitment to professional development, teaching and role development, commitment to community involvement, and recognition of nursing. Structural empowerment, general questions. Tell me about your shared leadership structure. Do you participate? Well, shared leadership is shared decision-making that involves nursing representatives from all areas, including ambulatory care. Action request forms are one way to share ideas for improvement through shared leadership. What improvements have been made as a result of shared leadership? Increased certification and nurse retention, 5150 sitter resources, and medication standardization are some examples. What type of support does the organization provide for certification and returning to school? We have the Transformational and Friends of Nursing Scholarships, certification bonuses for union represented nurses, education funds, education time off, and we host an education fair twice a year. How does the organization support the community? Through community CPR, RN volunteers, hosting a career day for high school students, food and back to school donations, and summer internship program. Personal questions. Are you involved in a professional organization? Are you or others in your department in the PNDP program? Do you have a specialty certification in your area? Do you feel supported to return to school? And do you feel valued as a key member in the care of your patients by the physician team you work with? Exemplary professional practice is demonstrated through the use of professional guidelines and application of evidence-based practice. Interprofessional practice and family-centered care are evident in our daily work. Exemplary professional practice key concepts. Professional practice model, care delivery, and practice environment, interprofessional care, staffing, scheduling, budgeting, accountability, competence, autonomy, ethics, privacy, security, and confidentiality, and culture of safety. Exemplary professional practice general questions. What is the professional practice model? Each answer here will be unique to you. Be familiar with the professional practice model and how you represent it as a nurse at Stanford. You can find more detail in the ebook under foundational items to our care. 
What are the ways that I keep my patients safe? Nurse-driven protocols and clear escalation pathways are two examples. Tell me how you are staffed on this unit and who makes these decisions. Staffing is based on acuity and the resource nurse has the autonomy to make these decisions based on some guiding principles. Tell me how you partner with patients and families. We have interdisciplinary rounding, Schwartz Center rounds, and the Patient and Family Advisory Council, or PFAC. How do you offer feedback to your peers? A couple of examples are bedside rounds and recommendations for the clinical ladder promotion through our PNDP program. Personal questions. What type of relationship do you have with providers? Is it collaborative? Do you know what the patient satisfaction survey results are and where to find them? How do you address or discuss patient safety and ethical practice at the unit level? How do you address a patient's varied and cultural spiritual needs? Can nurses speak of quality indicators for their specific areas? New knowledge, innovation, and improvements. Organizations support nurses to contribute to new knowledge through research by promoting a culture of inquiry. Nurses use evidence-based practice and research to explore safe and best practice for patients, the practice environment, and to generate new knowledge. New knowledge, innovation, and improvement, key concepts. Research, evidence-based practice, innovation, and technology. New knowledge and innovation, general questions. How is nursing research shared within the organization? Some examples are published articles, healthcare con, presentations at staff meetings, discovery newsletter, research and innovation shared leadership council, and looking forward. What are some examples of evidence-based practice? A couple of examples are the Clapsy Bundle and CHG alcohol versus alcohol use. What innovation or workplace redesign has your unit done? Some examples are moving to the new units for 500p or 300p with new technology and our 500p champions who helped redesign the park carts and medication alcoves. What nursing research is being done on your unit or within the organization? A couple of examples are the LEAF system and the COVID clinical trials. New knowledge, innovation, and improvement, personal questions. How do you use evidence-based practice and how do you use technology to improve practice? Empirical outcomes are intertwined with all other magnet model components and are achievements of nurses at Stanford Healthcare. You will be able to identify empirical outcomes in the exemplars presented for each domain during your review. For additional resources to prepare you for our visit, here are instructions and QR code to access the Caring Compass Internet site for the 2020 Magnet Redesignation eBook, additional supporting videos, department-specific magnet exemplars, and the SHD 2020 Magnet document.